How's it going, everybody? Mosaic Basketball, 10 box mixer. This is number six, our last mosaic for now. Um, good luck, everybody. Five boxes of Mega and five hangers. Good luck. We were able to uh, dig some up. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. The first thing we need to do is roll the dice for all three randomizers, including the early bird one, which is the first 15 spots bought in this one. So this is for all three. We're going to go two and a three five times. So the name on top will get the 30th and final spot after five times. Three, four, five. Fifth and final time, Paul Nixon. There you go, the coach. Let's make sure I got this list right, actually. Let me just recopy it, make sure I got it. Bang. And boom. Paul Nixon, market early bird EB. And then here are the 30 teams. We're going to go five times once again. Uh, we do. I think um, the free shipping on Canada is over $50 in order. If it's under $50, we charge a flat rate of 8 bucks. Ooh, almost over randomized there. Five times. There are the customer names. That was close. Five times, five times, and five times on the teams. One, two, three, four, five. Utah down to Sacramento. A couple West Coast teams here. So, Fred, you got the Jazz, Jeremy Mavericks, Paul, the coach, Pistons, Zach Bucks, Paul, Celtics, BJ, Heat and Nuggets, Gary Nix, Paul Nets, BJ Hornets, Zach Grizzlies, uh, Paul Pacers, BJ Clippers, Paul Bulls, Zach with the Cavs, TJ with the Raptors, Jeremy with the Sixers, Paul with the Lakers, um, BJ with the Thunder, TJ with the Timberwolves, Derek with the Wizards, BJ with the Spurs, Josh with the Blazers, Matt with the Hawks, Fred with the Warriors, Paul with the Early Bird gets the Rockets, Zach with the Suns, Bruno with the Magic, Zach with one of the last spots there gets the Pelicans, and Jeremy, you got the Sacramento Kings. So 10 boxes of Mosaic coming up. We will be right back to see if there's any trading right after this. All right, no trading here. Good luck. Oops. There we go. Here's the final list. Try to get some more Mosaic. I think we do have some more Mega Boxes, just no hangers. Um, <clears throat> so we will uh, maybe do some type of Mega Break tomorrow maybe pick your team all right Derek wants some Hachi more action I haven't seen too much Rui to be honest from this stuff at least the ones I've done so might be due but yeah even a base Rui might be uh might be nice especially if you get it you know they say nine ten something getting graded maybe yeah, base Zion from this is like 120 bucks. That's crazy. Just insane. Yeah, I think I put in the description, like, you know, this could be the, you know, right at first when we had prison basketball, you know, it was in our bargain bins, you know. Nobody really liked Prism at first, you know, so obviously people like this at first, so, you know, could catch on to be a uh, really highly collected, invested in set. So we could be here in, you know, five, six months from now being like, dang, I could join, I could have joined a Mosaic break for only $50. Now it's going to be like 100 200 Or, you know, it could be the opposite. I just, you never know with this kind of uh, madness going on. All right. Good luck. Here are the hangers.
All right, all cards ship as well. Any USA will go to the team they played for longest if um, retired. Team they currently on if um, active. So I think that Vince Carter would be Hawk since he's technically still active. I don't think he's officially retired yet. It might have been his last game, but I don't think you know they've submitted his retirement. So I think that should be Hawks. There's RJ Barrett, rookie. Ooh, there's an MVP's LeBron. That's Cavs edition. Oh eight oh nine campaign. Did he win MVP when he was with the Heat? Yeah, he did, right? Maybe? Or maybe not. I forget. And all the uh, parallels will be sleeved and top-loaded. John Morant, rookie. I almost missed it because it looks like a different kind of photo. Maybe a photo variation there of Ja. That's a nice one for the Grizzlies. That's going out to Zach Ball. Leave a photo variation, so even better. Giannis Orange MVPs. The RJ was too. Yeah, I got the RJ in the sleeve here. Yeah, I think it's the background. You can tell which is a different, um, different type of design. And yeah, I want to say this Vince Carter should go to the Hawks. I don't think. I guess I should look it up just to avoid confusion for the shipping team. I think he's technically still a Hawk, even though it might have been his last game. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, he is an American basketball player, not was. So, Hawks on that. Not that it's the most valuable card, but we just like to get it to the right place. Who knows, maybe Vince will be even uh, be back for whenever the NBA restarts. Who knows? Damian Jones. And that was the hangers. So he won one with Miami. Got it. So when was his last MVP then? 2012-13? That's kind of crazy to think about, right? He hasn't won in... Not almost a... Kind of almost a decade, right? Eight years? Which you could probably... It's like... Um, yeah, I mean, it's the whole thing where it's like, you know, is it the player with the best stats or is it the player who's probably the most valuable, you know, which is, you know, the name of the award, most valuable player, you know, not that like, you know, Russell Westbrook a few years ago or James Harden weren't, you know, valuable to their teams, but was LeBron more valuable during that time? Probably, right? I mean, look at the Cavs after LeBron left last year. Mega boxes, like I said, should have some more mega breaks. I don't know if I'm going to do pick your team or random team. We'll see. There's a nice Rui. Nice. I don't know what they call the white, the you know white silver ones, but this is pretty nice. It's a pretty you know short printed. Yeah, Trout. I mean, other than the uh, Miguel Cabrera triple crown year, probably should have won. I think Josh Donaldson beat him on one year, which I guess you could have argued. There's another MVP's LeBron. another brewery and there is a Zion nice NBA debut Zion
Should be a photo variation of Rui too. Maybe. Maybe not. Face. You, there's a LeBron James base. Yeah, <laughs> that pretty much pays for the spot, right? That's crazy. Get it at ten; it's probably four hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. Zion base. Which uh, Adam was saying earlier is about 120 bucks raw. Oh, that's interesting, Derek. So these are probably from Summer League, I guess? Or maybe, yeah, Summer League, right? So Larry Bird will obviously be Celtics. I don't think he played anywhere else. Kobe White, Steph Curry. Jackson Hayes Silver. So you got the pink, which I haven't hit yet. I think those are the ones that are out of 10, like the RJ Barrett Joe hit. So those are probably super, super rare. Then you have the Genesis ones. Blue for blue fluorescent, which is in the cellos. Orange fluorescent, which is in the blasters. I think the orange are in the uh, hangers, too. breaking chair too. I'm gonna have like some crazy stuff after breaking for so long. What's that chair that some TV show that there's a chair where you sit down what TV show was that? Dang. Like he has the, the chair that you can sit down with and then get back up. Man, I kind of total blank. But that'd be good for for Joe and I since he stands and I sit. Jason sits. Kobe White. I probably should stand though. But. Kobe White for the Bulls. That's a nice one for Paul. Jordan Poole. Nice. I got all jumbled here. Ooh, I see a good one coming up. LeBron James, nice. Orange for us? Red for us? Oh, it's a nice one, though. Man, I've seen a lot of those MVP cards. Probably need to start charging more for this break. There's going to be like. Hundred dollars worth of top loaders alone. So it looks like Rui Hachimura's base goes with this NBA debut of Zion. So anytime you see Rui base, probably hit one of those debut Zions. Hannah LeBron, it's crazy. Ben Simmons. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. Well, it's just this table is not very good for me if I was standing. We need a table. I actually have looked at it in my Ikea that you just uh, press the button and it goes up and down. Problem is, there's a Zion base. The problem is that they are not very, uh, I don't think, as durable as this one. And they're not as wide and big. We probably could do without the TV. You know? 
We might not need this TV really for another three, four months. Probably could get just get rid of it and get a smaller table. And then when sports come back or something. Get a table, side table, or just get a side table now for it. But yeah, we need a table that can we can just adjust pretty easily without too much work. Yeah, I think mounting the TV on this wall was too hard. Yeah, I think I did see that PJ. I put it to the side here. Let me just um, get this LeBron orange in a sleeve. Maybe I didn't pull it. Let's see if it's here. Got it, yeah. I can kind of tell the the variations now, but not really. They're kind of like a hexagon, octagon type thing. A very desk? How much is that? We're looking at like IKEA range price. Not <laughs> sounds expensive. A very desk. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I know people who have like three thousand dollar desk. It's eight hundred. That's not terrible, right? For something we use every day. I think the IKEA ones were like half that. So it's not terrible. I don't see the KBO one. Maybe you're watching a replay, Matthew, or just saying that. But yeah, I agree. I was a I'm a Samsung Lions fan. For the time being, there's a Nasir Little Silver. Leave that Seku. I think it's a variation. Maybe Hunter. There's Troy Brown Jr. He's not a rookie this year. Maybe he's 18, 19. That Troy Brown was a rookie. Right, I gotta kind of speed it up a little bit. Lagging behind. And Kobe White face. I don't know if I showed that yet or at already, but there it is again. So yeah, coming up next is uh, NHL repack break from us, our last case. Hockey fans, Cup Hockey will be tomorrow, be posting tomorrow, and then the rest of the breaks there. And like I said, I do an optic choice if we filled that up. There's five left last time I checked. One box break, $49.99, you know, could hit a $5,000 card for all I know. Nothing crazy yet from that case. So kind of high risk. If you think fifty dollars is a lot, maybe don't don't join it because there's not a ton of people who are going to be very pleased with the outcome. But there will be probably a couple people pretty pleased, especially if there's a Zion something crazy. You know, out of eighty-eight, I don't even know want to know what a Zion out of eighty-eight choice goes for. I would think over five thousand. I would imagine. So that could possibly be in there for forty nine ninety nine. So, and it's, I think it's a tiered random team break. So you're guaranteed to have you know some good teams there, one of the top ten teams in value. And if you have the tenth team, you get you know the eleventh best team too. I try to try to do it maximum value for everybody. Kendrick Nunn. Kind of cooled off Kendrick Nunn. He did have a very hot start. I think he won like two Rookie of the Months. But kind of cooled off a little bit after that. But might be a good buy. There's a Cork Mars. Those 76ers jerseys are cool. Were they right out 70? That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that. That's crazy. Trey Mancini has, has cancer. Tyler Hero. There's RJ. There's a jaw. Yeah. Loaded loaded box there. These things are going to be spiking in price, I'd imagine. The singles market on these might go down a little bit once all the other variation, you know, cellos and blasters and hobby come out. 
but from what I'm seeing, it seems pretty, uh, pretty loaded with the big names. Uh, Doosan Bears family. Uh, so who is the? So Doosan Bears. It looks like they're pretty good. You know what's interesting about the KBO? I don't know if this is new or not, but Carl Ravish was talking about this. That the best regular season team in the Korean baseball organization, if you are if you have the best record, I don't know if this is just this year they're starting it, you get automatically to advance to the finals, to their World Series. That's awesome. That'd be so sick. Imagine how important regular season games are, especially going down the wire. It might be a little extreme. I think Carl Ravage said that too. But if MLB adopted some some type of system, plus NBA adopted some kind of system like that, that'd be awesome. Um, I don't know, Sean. He's pretty raw in my opinion. He's kind of older than a couple of the other rookies, but I don't think he's been playing basketball for very long. But he does remind me of some other player from Greece who might be on the Bucks. You know, I could m maybe not hit that ceiling, but I could see him playing very well like that. Or it could just be like, you know, Bruno Caboclo, for all I know. I'm not like an NBA scout, but I think he could, uh, could shock some people. There's Ja, rookie. Get that in the sleeve. Luka Samanic from the Mavericks, or from the, uh, not Mavericks, that's Luka Doncic, from the, uh, Spurs. I saw another person say Ignas Brz whatever that guy's last name is from the Knicks. I think Darius Garland, too. Kind of being slept on for at least for a number five pick. I think his silver is only 40, 50 bucks raw. You know, Kobe White's goes for like triple his. Darius Garland. Another nice Rui. Another job. I like the Martin twins. I'll be honest, it might be kind of insensitive, but I don't know which one. Which one is better? Cody Martin is, right? I mean, they're identical twins. Come on. Yeah, I mean, any Celtic, really, because you have probably... Other than, like, Popovich and a couple others, probably the best coach in the NBA. So anybody he, that Brad um, Stevens can develop and, you know, like Tatum and Jalen Brown have, probably going to be good. I like Grant Williams, too. He's he's kind of like a like a Draymond Green type, I think. If they start winning championships, you can be like, like the third, fourth best utility player for them. Get a ton of rebounds and stuff. Ah, oh, I see. So Caleb, that's right. I forget where Caleb Martin is. Yeah, Romeo Langford, yeah. Yeah, like I said, pretty much any Celtic, you know. Good bet. I don't know about Taco Fall. Maybe, but... He's kind of fun to watch, too. But I don't know. Maybe he'll start getting real NBA mints one day. It's just crazy to think like 30 years ago, he would probably have been the number one pick in the NBA draft. All right.
right, there's another hero. That's nice. Yeah, the Europe players definitely are intriguing. Kind of boom or bust, right? High ceiling, maybe a low floor for a lot of the Euro players since there's not a ton of scouting on them. Luca, Luca insert, Luca base, Brewery NBA debut, Dwight Howard, there's a Kyle Guy silver, silver's are pretty rare, I'll sleeve that up, Thomas Bryant, last few here, Carson Edwards, just talking about him, Pete Maravich, although he did cut his hair in that photo, gotta keep the hair long. So that's a break. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, check out the store for more Mosaic, maybe some more Mega Boxes in the store on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. See you all next time.